if you would raise your right hand and they've asked me to do this slowly because this is their one photo op. During Supreme Court confirmations, there's a fairly standard script and Sonia Sotomayor is unlikely to be much different. I do. And I look forward to working with the Senate in the confirmation process. Generally, a candidate won't pass judgment on past decisions. Long settled cases are an exception though. For instance, nearly everyone has endorsed Brown versus the Board of Education, which barred segregation in public schools and condemned other cases rooted in bigotry. That Dred Scott was the wrong decision for its time. The path onto the court is to strike a balance between appearing knowledgeable while declining to discuss specific legal issues which may reach the court. No forecasts, no hints. The judge's only obligation, and it's a solemn obligation, is to the rule of law. Umpires don't make the rules, they apply them. And tell me if you feel I'm not striking the right balance. Further back, the examples have been more varied. Robert Bork talked in detail about his judicial philosophy, much to his regret, while Antonin Scalia refused to comment even on almost 200-year-old decisions. The memory of these two justices was part of the reason that subsequent nominees struck more of a balance. If a nominee, although it's their right, does not answer questions that don't go to how they, uh, what they would decide, but how they would decide, I will vote against that nominee regardless of whom it is. And you can thank Justice Scalia for that. Judge Sotomayor will likely keep the balance. On the Judiciary Committee, many members will be the same as in years past and the questions will likely touch on a range of divisive issues, from abortion, to race, to the right to bear arms. Her answers, more likely than not, will avoid specifics. I firmly believe in the rule of law as the foundation for all of our basic rights. One exception may be when the discussion turns to biography. Like Justices Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito, she will probably talk about her modest background and she will almost certainly note that she would be the first Hispanic justice. Que todo mi sueño, desde pequeñita, han pasado. And she will want to address her comment that a wise Latina woman may render better decisions than a white male, and discuss in greater detail how her background will and will not affect her judicial work. This wealth of experiences, personal and professional, have helped me appreciate the variety of perspectives that present themselves in every case that I hear. One part of her biography, her service on the board of the Puerto Rican Legal Defense and Education Fund, will also figure in the hearings. The group's positions have recently become controversial, and the line of inquiry may also be interesting because, in the past, prejudicial work and writings have often been fruitful areas of inquiry that was the position that I took as an advocate. I have expressed in my writing sometimes some criticism. People on both sides say they expect Judge Sotomayor will, in the end, get confirmed, as long as she sticks to the script.